time now is 717. And in this morning's medical alert, we are talking about heartburn. When else are we going to encounter it than this week when we overeat and the start of the holiday season? Dr. Bruce Greenwald is here, and you are the board chairman of the Esophageal Cancer Action Network. That's right. All right, nice to see you. Good to be here. So we're going to make the link in, in when we know this is part of something more serious first. Let's get that out of the way before we get into the kind of heartburn that people will experience during the holiday season. So how do you know if it is something else? So certainly if, if heartburn symptoms persist for a long time, if they're there every day, that's a warning sign that you should see a physician or a nurse practitioner. If food sticks or stops when you're trying to swallow it, that's not good. Weight loss is a problem. Other symptoms can be signs of heartburn, things like throat clearing, hoarseness, wheezing, asthma symptoms. These are all things that are not normal and you should see somebody about them. Okay, so if you're experiencing that, you should go to your primary care physician first? Yes. Okay, all right. So let's talk about preventing heartburn during Thanksgiving. Sure. Okay, so you have a number of tips for us, and I said, and I was going through them, and, and the first is schedule your meal in the afternoon. I'm with you on that. Check. Don't lie down right after eating. Hmm. Well, you want to visit with your family. Maybe don't go sneak and take a nap right away. Okay, so maybe let yourself digest for what a half an hour or so. We really say two to three hours after a meal before lying down is really? best. People are laughing in the studio, we'll thinking they're going to pass out. Sit in a recliner. Recline. Avoid overeating. Doctor. Doctor. We'll put less on your plate and okay. enjoy your food more. Okay. Well, maybe you say use a smaller plate, so that'll help, right? It can. It can. Drink in moderation. It's, it's a good thing. <laughs> okay. You are funny. And the last thing you said is eat dessert an hour or two after the meal. I think that's a good one, too. Well, we're all so full after an amazing Thanksgiving dinner that why not wait a little bit, enjoy, digest, and then go back and have dessert. I think this is good. I'm going to try to do, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to try to do three of these things. I think that would be great. Okay, I'm not going to tell you which ones though. Okay. All right, so let me ask you about your Thanksgiving. I understand you're the, you're the big cook in your home. No, no, my wife is the big cook, but I get to cook the turkey. Okay, and you deep fry your turkey? I do. It's very good. You're so good. You know why? Because you're just coming in and you're speaking everybody's language here. And, and you have this great smile that says, I'm going to tell you to do this, but I know the reality. Moderation. 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 All right. Any other tips for the holiday season? Um, sit back and enjoy. Be with your family. Love it. Come back. Thank Come you. back and visit us. I really enjoy talking with you. My pleasure. All thank right, you. thank you, and happy Thanksgiving to you and your and family. To you. All right, and you can find more information because this is very important information to share at ecan.org. That's e c a n.org. And don't go away when we.